It was the 10th of June 2000 when London's famous Millennium Bridge was opened after its construction. For the last two years, people had been waiting anxiously for the completion of its construction. When it was opened, everyone wanted to use it on the very first day. It was built across the Thames River in London for pedestrians only. But as the people started walking on it, it began to sway badly. After noticing it, the authorities came into action. For the first two days, they forbade people to rush onto the bridge. But after two days, it was closed for the next two years. After this incident, this famous bridge of London had been noticed by the world. The engineers who built this bridge were shocked to see how such a solid bridge can sway just because people walk on it. It had such a reason which could not be predicted by the engineers earlier. It was such a problem which had the courage to go against the laws of nature and jiggle the great mystery of physics. About 192 years ago, in 1831, some soldiers of the British Army were parading and walking over Broughton's suspension bridge, situated in northern England. Due to the synchronization of the footsteps of the soldiers, Broughton's suspension bridge collapsed, and 60 soldiers fell into the river with many of them seriously injured. Luckily, there were no casualties in this incident, but after that day, the British Army instructed their soldiers not to parade together while crossing any bridge. This practice was not only adopted by the British Army, but was also followed by every army in the world for the next several years. It is even followed today in some countries. It was due to the synchronization of the footsteps of soldiers which collapsed the bridge. But if we look into the footage of London's Millennium Bridge, we notice something very strange here. People walking on this bridge are not soldiers, and why their footsteps are so synchronized, and why this modern footbridge built in the 21st century could not tolerate their synchronization, we find its answer from an experiment done back in 350 years. In 1665, the famous physicist Christian Huygens made the world's first pendulum clock. Its purpose was to guide the sailors to their exact location in the sea. Sailors in the past used to estimate their location in the sea according to the position of the sun and stars, but that was merely an estimate. They could only know the latitude, which means north and south position, but if they knew the accurate time, they could know the longitude or their east and west location. At that time, clocks would lose 15 minutes in 24 hours, either faster or slower, and they were useless for that purpose. The pendulum clock made by Huygens would lose only 15 seconds in a day. Huygens' plan was to hang two pendulum clocks with heavy weights so that the ocean waves could not disrupt the motion of the clocks, and if any of the clocks went bad, there should be a backup clock. He hung both pendulum clocks on a wood to test them in his home and started both clocks one after the other. But after some time, he noticed that both of the clocks were synchronized. The pendulum of the left clock moved to the left, while the pendulum of the right clock moved to the right at the same time. Huggins could not understand the strange behavior of the clocks. He again disturbed the pendulum movement of both clocks, but after 30 minutes, both got synchronized again. Huygens thought that there might be a connection of air pressure between these two clocks, so he placed a cardboard between them. But after two minutes, both clocks synchronized again. At last, he separated both clocks from each other. He hanged one of the clocks to one chair and the other clock to another chair. Then he noticed that the invisible connection of the clocks had broken. But what was the connection between them when they were hanging on the same wooden stick? In this video, 32 metronomes are being started at different times, placing them on the same table. It means their starting is not synchronized. But only after two minutes, all 32 metronomes are surprisingly synchronized, whereas they don't have any apparent connection with each other except the table. This secret connection of synchronization 
does not only apply to non-living things. Fireflies are also good friends of each other. It has been noticed in research that when fireflies are together, they shine unanimously after synchronizing with each other. For this, it is important that their flash could reach each other. If they are far away from each other, the synchronization of flashing will break up. The more fireflies in an area, the more chances there are that they will flash together after synchronizing with each other. In the very same way, we humans synchronize with each other. Here in this window, the audience is clapping for a performance. In the beginning, everyone was clapping according to their own frequency. But what happened after that, you can see for yourself. No one told them to do so, but even then, they synchronized the frequency of their clapping. This phenomenon of synchronization is not limited to one or two things. If we take the example of the heart, the heart pumps with the synchronization of our body. If a normal person runs faster, his heart rate will increase at the same time because the heart has to supply oxygenated blood to the brain. But if there is a problem with the heart, its synchronization does not match the body. It is known as irregular heartbeat or arrhythmias in medical terms. In this condition, the heart rate or the pulse increases itself. Now, the heart is pumping more blood, but the lungs cannot inhale more oxygen. Hereby, oxygen and blood supply to the brain will decrease, and it can cause the death of a person in this situation. Similarly, a decrease in heart rate can cause the death of a person. It means where less synchronization is harmful. Excessive synchronization can also create problems. Keeping all these examples in mind, let's once again have a look at the Millennium Bridge. It so happened that when such a large number of people started walking together on the bridge, the footsteps of people synchronized with each other automatically. The Millennium Bridge was designed in such a way that the cables were supporting it from the sides, not from above. It is the basic rule of civil engineering especially of structural engineering, that during the designing of a footbridge, its resonant frequency is not set according to the footsteps of people. While sitting on a swing, when we move our legs back and forth according to its frequency, it starts moving faster automatically. Similarly, when people started walking together on the Millennium Bridge, the frequency of their footsteps matched with the frequency of the bridge. At first, the bridge started swinging slowly as the supporting cables were attached to the sides. Therefore, the movement of the bridge was sideways. Due to this sideways movement, people started walking sideways to balance themselves. And then, due to resonance, the movement of the bridge went on faster and faster, like a swing. When the problem was diagnosed properly, the engineers installed 89 shock absorbers. 37 to dissipate energy, and 52 to control the vertical movement. After completing their work in February 2002, the bridge was tested once again. The company arranged for more than 2,000 people and asked them to walk on the bridge. This test is known as one of the biggest bridge tests in the world. A satisfactory decrease in the movement of the bridge was seen as predicted. Even today, it is a very difficult task to predict synchronization and to find the invisible connection between two or more than two bodies. This is a natural phenomenon, which can also be observed in birds when they fly together. When bees are together, not only their sound is synchronized, but they also tug their wings unanimously when they feel danger from outside while being on the hive. As it can be seen in this video, Hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please share it. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more video notifications. Thanks. See you in the next video.